ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Great Lakes Gaming, a podcast about video games, allegedly. My name is Dan Hale. I'm your moderator. It's February 11th, 2018. It's a sweet Sunday morning, and I am here today with Kyle Melville. Uh, yeah. Kyle Melville. Uh, yeah. Nicholas Cartier. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Kyle Melville. Uh, yeah. And Kyle Melville. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, special guest Trey Grunstead. Come and knock on our door. Uh, yeah. knock on the door. <laughs> that was hard, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Where the kisses are hers and hers and his, threes companies too. Thank you for joining us on this sweet Sunday morning or wherever you're listening. If this is your first time listening, we are yeah. a group of fellas that are just yucking in a room <laughs> at like 10 a.m. Just yucking around. <laughs> 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 we're just four. We're just four people that really enjoy video games. Uh, we get together once a week to casually discuss it. Uh, I know it's got nothing to do with the Olympics, but and this is so fake because I just asked you this. I'm like, Kyle, you seen the Olympics? No, he fucking hasn't. He didn't hear that question. Who gives a fuck? Uh, <laughs> so much. Today I raised Trey's dickhead. We got whiteboards last week, and now, uh, like, Trey has no dickhead anymore. People have them in the beginning. Kyle's touching Trey's dick right now. <laughs> Penises are being drawn in the race. Yeah, line, uh, yeah boy. <laughs> <laughs> this week's podcast is mostly rumors, mostly leaks. Just a bunch of crazy shit that might be happening. Before we get into any of that, let's smoothly sail. Man, who snitched? Through some corrections. Last week on the podcast, <laughs> Trey said it feels like we've been sailing forever. But it's only been like four months. Uh, also, he just drew my, my face on a penis. It's, it's, it's Kai. Oh. <laughs> it's, Kai. <laughs> it's really hard to tell. Like <laughs> He's the chocolate version of me. Yeah, I mean, what am I gonna, what am I, it's a fucking dry erase board, what am I gonna do, like, do this for Kyle, like, <laughs> <laughs> you should make me one of the testicles. Listen, if you want to talk about it and let this smooth sailing play all day, thank you TJ Shepard, TG Shepard, for probably being dead, we didn't reach out to you to use this version of smooth sailing. Uh, GTA 5 came out, and then online came out two weeks after. Star Citizen is not out yet, but it is forever, uh, it is forever an alpha. And when I looked into it, Trey, the hype is real. Like, the hype over Star Citizen is crazy. It's died down a little, just because it's kind of been, like, yeah. delayed, and it's, like, the third alpha. Uh, but it looks really interesting. And it is, like, first-person, like, exploration. I wouldn't, like, compare it, like, that closely to, like, No Man's Sky. I don't think it's that. But, like, it's probably prettier. Yeah. When you're not, like... I saw some clipping through planets and shit, but... More shit to do. Serling. Uh... Serling. <laughs> fuck. Uh... Bow to Blood was the one I was talking about, where you're just in... It's pretty much, like, the Black Flag ship system. It's, like, space pirate airship dog fights. Bow to Blood. Bow to Blood. Bow to Blood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's been this week's correction. <laughs> These whiteboards will be the end of us. Uh, yeah. This week in gaming. A best binge. For clarification, everybody, I just drew Kyle as both kinds of genitalia. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Kyle, I'm Nigel Dunbar. Kyle, what? <laughs> Smashing. <laughs> Smashing. <laughs> what did you play this week in Garmin? In Garmin. Garmin. I played Farpoint. B.I. B.I. Uh, Farpoint. It's actually really, 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 really cool. Um, yeah. I didn't realize that, like, the first, you know, half of the game was just, like, giant fucking spiders. 
Yeah. Some of our girls, they go underground and they just like pop out of nowhere. And you just gotta. What the fuck you do? <laughs> love it. You just gotta love it. It's not easy. There's co op, though. Really? Yeah, there's co op. Wait, co-op. do you have VR? Yeah. You both have to have VR. I don't. See. In different places? I didn't even right. click on it because I was just like, how the fuck does this work? What if it's like online? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's it's probably online. Splits your consciousness into two different. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably. Like you're, you're actually going in. Like, welcome, welcome to the far one point. One goes in, one goes out. How far was the point? Did you get to that point? Uh, oh, no. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> <I like> you. <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, Kyle, can I, not to derail you any further, but can I say, I looked into rigs. Yeah? Mechanized Cap Combat League. For, it, it is already out, for sure. It came out in like, it is? 2016. Yeah, yeah. It was like, but what we, I didn't know, it's Guerrilla Games. It's fucking Horizon and uh, the yeah. Decima Engine and all those motherfuckers. It looks real good. Apparently, it's like, it's not, uh, there is like fighting, but there's also like, like sports, like, like. I don't know if it's like a sports situation. There's three different modes. I saw that. Is it is it for VR? Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm gonna go buy it today. PSVR. Yeah, yeah. You might have to. I mean, where are you gonna find it? You might have to buy it online. I That's what I'm gonna do. Think about it. So fucking fancy. What else do you play this? Ah, <laughs> uh, those. Those. Uh, I gotta ask. What was uh, best play one? Destiny Two. Unfortunately. I saw that. I didn't want to talk to you about. It, yeah, so. I don't want to. I don't know what I didn't buy it. Farpoint. What was the most, uh, best moment in Farpoint so far for you? Oh, man. Spoil everyone. I don't care. Uh. So what was it? Giant fucking spider. That, like the first giant spider you came across. Dude, it's like, huge. And then ever, all the spiders after that just seemed like nothing, because I was just like, we've seen bigger shit than you fuck here. <laughs> yeah. Spiders in VR, I haven't got to fight them yet. I've been told it is an experience. Yeah, I played a little bit of Skyrim VR. That was pretty cool. Mm. Um, nice. You get anything done or you're just fucking around? No, I'm just fucking around. It's hard to... That's why I almost... When I was playing it for so long, I'm like, I gotta get something done to add to this account. To get, yeah. Because I'm like, I just want to fuck around. And that's all everyone's going to want to do. I'm like, I gotta get... One better sword. I gotta get a non-iron... I didn't even accomplish that, though. I got distracted. I fucked up the, uh... Crafting quest. (laughs) With the white run... Immediately. She's like, do this. I'm like... I did, like, three things, and I fucked up, and I gave away... Like, just walked away. Yeah. And I'm gonna say, like... Okay, so you can set your height level in the game. It's like, if you're 5'10", I'm 5'11". Mm-hmm. So if it's set it at 5'11", it actually makes that your height in the game. Interesting. It is really cool. So if you crouch in real life, your character crouches. Nice. But, you know, there is a lot of turning and going backwards and stuff like that. And it's hard to, like, you know, it's not hard, but sometimes... Point. Uh-huh. Uh, sometimes you got to go pretty fast. You can find yourself to the point where it's hard to balance. You might find, fall over, you know? Yeah, definitely. I found myself like that a few times. I was definitely sitting in that computer chair. Yeah, this time, um, yesterday when Stevie came over and played, we sat in the computer chair and uh, used that as, like, turning. Because, you know, you walk with the joystick when you when you uh, walk forward, backwards, you can uh, strafe left and right. Mm-hmm. Um, but you look and go right. in that direction with how you're actually looking. Then you gotta aim as well. Mm-hmm. Um, it took me a minute to get used to it, for sure. Yeah, it takes a while to get used to it. I think I definitely got most comfortable when I went to direct motion, and then I was still turning around, and I was just using the button to go, and then I just, once I started utilizing like the quick turns, which you can adjust, like yeah. it's, I think it's set at like quarter turn, uh... Once I started really getting comfy with like the quarter turns and the direct motion, yeah. I'm like, yeah. I hear Fallout VR is that kind of like that's how the movement just straight up is that kind of yeah. direct motion. Um, and I really enjoyed it. I know a lot of people like that's one of the things like their brain can't do or right. like their stomach, whatever. I I enjoyed that. It was, yeah, I can definitely. I made it the controller size too. Yeah, definitely cool. Smooth, see. Man, this VR 
stuff is, is crazy. I also find it, like, very, you know, I have to have, like, energy to play that kind of shit. Yeah. Like, Friday night, it was when I bought, you know, Farpoint. And I could probably only play it for, like, I think I only played it for, like, 15 minutes, dude. Really? Yeah, it was wow. just like, this is taking a lot out of me. You know, I got a good night's rest, and I played it again in the morning, and I played it for quite some time. So, I knew it was just like, you know, you just gotta have energy for that kind of shit. It's it's very mind-enduring, you know. And it, you know, if, if your eyes are already tired, you probably shouldn't even be playing VR. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Kyle. Huh. I like that you're into the VR. Oh, I love it. It's 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 interesting this game game that you like. Hey, yeah, I bought Farpoint. Yeah. I, I enjoy it, Cause especially because I chopped like two hundred bucks Friday, dude. Because I bought Farpoint, which is like eighty bucks. Damn. And then I bought 80. like a. Well, yeah, it, but it with, with that's gun. with the gun. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's. Not, it's not bad. bad yeah. No, dude. I mean, if you think about it, a game's still normally sixty bucks. Triples are expensive. Game's twenty. Yeah. You can think about it however you want. You spent thirty bucks on each. <laughs> um, right. and then I bought um, Bluetooth head headphones. Yes, don't brag. <laughs> <laughs> not bragging. Are they great? Yeah, they're on the <laughs> <laughs> they're on the box. When I got the P- VR, I was like. Want those? Oh, okay. You got them for oh, nice. Yeah, they Sick. like go over the stuff. It's yeah, they're pretty bad. Oh, it. you can't see. You, huh, dude? Before I move on from here, Kyle, one thing I didn't say about Super Hot last week when we talked about because that yeah. was my first experience really, like, really right. getting to play Super Hot. Super satisfying shotgun. That's all I want to say. Ridiculous yeah, distance, right? ridiculously effective. Great shotgun, Super Hot VR. Just saying. Nicholas. Kurdier. Good morning. Good morning, Kurdier. What did you play this week in gaming? This week in gaming, I played Dragon Quest The Builders. Hype level. I bought it. Hype level rising. Yes. Oh, it's, uh, it's so fun. It's so fun. I am really, really enjoying it so far. Oh, man. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sad that I like legit didn't play any Builders this week. But last week, I was playing a lot of Builders. So I feel like we played a lot of the same stuff in the last two weeks. Oh, yeah. Exciting. Exciting. And it's just like, ah, oh, it's, the demo was really fun, but being able to have, like, the full copy and being able to save my game. Yeah. Which, honestly, in a demo, you might be able to save the game, because I never walked up to the flag to save the game oh, in the demo. Oh, man, that's so I was just so like, wow, good. there's no save button. Right. Now I know that, that, so who knows, who knows? That's funny. Not me, that's who. <laughs> but, nah, the skeletons have attacked my place one time. And I've been staying away from my house just because of that, because I don't want them to come mm-hmm. and fuck my shit up. But other than that, I really like the music of it. Like it brings me back to, uh, it brings me back. You know, man. So I know Olivia's playing it too, and she's uh. When I was playing Dragon Dragon Warrior Three, uh, like it was literally <clears throat> I played with the volume all the way up because that music is some of the best music. <laughs> Of my life from a video game, I swear to God. Um, so, I think Dragon Quest is always pretty like that. I remember uh, you said you've played um, I played Dra- Monsters, <laughs> Dra- Dragon Warrior Monsters Two. Two, yeah, right, right. I think I played a little bit of one. Jesus. Uh, they, well, because um, so they couldn't use Dragon Quest back in the nineties because it was a board game, like uh, a kind of like a D and D thing. America. Yeah. And because of, like, copyrights and stuff, they couldn't use it. I don't know what changed to where they can release stuff as Dragon Quest now, but, mm-hmm. I mean, I've been able to do it for, like, a while now. But they That's use pretty much, like, the Pokemon Dragon Quest game, by the yeah, way. Yeah, no, yeah, definitely. That is, a that is one P- Pika, yay. But, yeah. <coughs> nah, it's nuts. It's, um, it uses a lot of the... It's nuts. It, yeah, it is nuts. It uses a lot of the same sounds from, like, the Game Boy Color game that, like... Because, like, I only played one other game in the franchise, which was the one on the Game Boy Color. Yeah. And, I don't know, I just feel like it's satisfying. I like the... I like how everything... Because, like, I've... Besides for the game on the Game Boy Color, I never played any other game, but I respected those games. Mm. Because people are like, these are good RPGs, 
and the artwork is Akira Toriyama inspired. Mm-hmm. I fucking love Dragon Ball Z and mm-hmm. Dragon Ball and all that shit. So you do. It's right up my alley. Like I've never played Chrono Trigger. I want to play it. I would say that you specifically you love all those things, but you also love. You could even go as far as to say the artwork of Akira Toriyama. Yeah. Cause like, uh, yeah, man. Which is nuts because um he really likes drawing like automobiles and cars and stuff. That's why like if you if you read the Dragon Ball Z manga like. You can just see all, like, the different types of cars that he gets to come out with, because just, like, in background and whatnot, he loves drawing that shit. This kind of series, though, he doesn't get to put those in there. Yeah. Yeah, no, no uh, automobiles and that. stuff, but... Bunch of slimes. Bunch of slimes, no, yeah. He, ah, slime. To think that, like, he made the slime. He made the slime, and he came out with that. Yeah. That's, like, that is a staple for that franchise. Yeah, like, you can get, you can get a slime plush. Yeah, I actually love those plushes. <laughs> they look really good. <laughs> I just know they're, like, probably too expensive for a slimy plush. Yeah. No. Good shit. Mm-hmm. But I love the, I love the Akira Toriyama vibes. It's, uh, uh, I've only had it for one day. I bought it yesterday. But mm-hmm. it's a hard game to put down. Like, yeah. for first 20 minutes before the podcast, that's what I was doing. Dude. Just playing the game. Uh, yeah, the first night I had it, I played, uh, ridiculous amounts as well. Like, it, I was like, ooh, a little too addicting in Dragon Quest Builders. Yeah. So this is why... This is why a lot, a lot of things. No, it's so good. I look forward to continue to talk about it as we get past the first chapter, me and you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I am excited for it. Trey Grunstat, a.k.a. Hard Muff. Yeah. What'd, what'd you play this week? Nobody Nobody cares about hard him. Hard Muff. Will you give him his time Nobody to shine? Nobody cares about him. Didn't you hear the intro? Nobody cares about <laughs> him. Special guest, Trey Grunstat. This is the Kyle Melville Show. Today on the Kyle Melville Show. <laughs> <laughs> no respect. Hey. Yes, <laughs> Kyle. What do you, you have all the magnets? Huh? How do you have all the magnets? Yay. Trey, what'd you play this week in gaming? That me? Ooh, what you. I play? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, played Battlefield. Really? Yeah, Battlefield One. one. <laughs> Battlefield One. Battlefield One. Yeah. I'm actually a fan of the Battlefield series. Yeah. I think it's superior to uh, Call of Duty, personally. The Duty? Yeah. How do you feel about it in comparison to Destiny? You can be you honest. You know, we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about that, okay. I mean, I don't that owns it, and I still don't want to talk about it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Anything exciting to report, Trey? Um. Hard motherfucker. Well, yay. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, what's not exciting about bloodshed, you know? So. Yeah. Any, uh, no, a sp- especially heroic moment you had? Oh, no, I'm not, I'm, I'm not that good at the game. He's loving it. Yeah, yeah. My heroic moment is when I just, you know, come out of nowhere and sneak up on that guy who's killing everybody and <laughs> get lucky one time. It's heroic. This That's heroic. This week in Cheap Shots. Cheap Shots. One thing I didn't mention with Cartier Trey, but now we're talking to you, so I'm just going to mention it to you, is I love in Dragon Quest Builders. (laughs) 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 Uh, When the goddess is talking to you in the beginning, kind of tutorial, kind of telling you that you're the one. She ends like this. She's You're the one. I'm the only one. She's like, you're the builder. Uh, She's like, if you forget everything else, remember this one thing. And I expect it to be, like, cheesy. And it's just like, you are not a hero. That's why I fucking love Dragon Quest Builders. You get no XP for destroying monsters. You simply get XP for building things, which only gives you better gear, which makes you more effective in battle. Uh, I feel like that's something I wanted to say last week I forgot, and I almost forgot this week. You're not a hero, and I love it. I'm just saying. And I'm, I'm going to attest building. to that. You are not a hero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are not a hero. Rolo. You're, a, you're also a, not a hero. You're an all right carpenter. Resident Evil 7 DLC, not a hero. <laughs> Chris Redfield. This week. Wait. Oh, wait, I got one thing to say. Yeah. Uh, this week in game is brought to you by Limit Media, Limit Media Incorporated, Limit Media LLC. Cartier, what did I play? What did you play, Dan? This week I played Rhyme. I know we've gone long on the This Week in Gaming. So I'm just going to sum it up real quick. I played Rhyme. It was sweet. Puzzles. Artsy. Amazing. 
I would say amazing. Uh, I'd give it a 9.1, Kyle. I think you'd like it just because uh, at the very beginning, when the puzzles are at their simplest, they really remind me of like uh, early God of War. Like puzzles. Like simple. And then a lot of it's like... What? Oh. Oh. Um. <laughs> and just like climbing around. I know you love uh, like like platform type puzzles. You know, it's like where you yeah. have to find the right. You have to find the right way to climb up this. I know yes. you like that kind of thing. Yes, yes, yes. Rhyme is about that. You just wake up on a beach and it's like what? And I actually didn't even know it was a Spanish game to the very end. But I'm like, it's like super artsy. It's not like dialogue based. Mm. Uh, it is, it's real good, man. Um, it's free on PlayStation Plus this month. Uh, it's only like four gigs. Yeah, it's worth checking out. I can only say so many good things about Rhyme. Um, yeah, man. Platforming. This was good. Beautiful water. Beautiful people. Beautiful times. This week in gaming. Disney what, 23 Expo. D23. Last year for the D23 Expo, we got a Kingdom Hearts trailer. It gave us Toy Story. D23 happened yesterday, or the day before. Um, so this week in trailers, we are watching the Kingdom Hearts 3 D23 Expo trailer. Yes. Not the theme song one. The legit one. If you like to watch along with home. With home. At home. Penises. I don't know. The sound on? With home penises. Penises. You know that the sound is on now, Cartier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. dick, Trey. Also, Thanks, I'm going to break this down as hard as I can, so if you yeah. don't want spoilers, skip five minutes ahead. My girlfriend listening. Yeah, I'm talking about the drawing, man. <laughs> no. I'm talking about the drawing. I really hope that this gets a Switch release. Oh. This is my favorite final boss fight, by the way. Yes, me too, dude. So Marluxia's dead. So that's, this is all interesting. Look at Goofy's face. You don't want to hook with him? Sora only met Marluxia in Chain of Memories, and he doesn't have any memories of that. Uh-oh. I like the mon I like Monster Sora. Yeah. I like Monster Goofy. John Goodman in a Kingdom Hearts game. Let's go. Oh man, Monster Donald Duck looks great. Dude, he does. They all look good. Dude. I wonder why his hair's red, though. There's a lot of falling in this game. Yeah, I don't know. Man. Oh man, some of the fucking weapons they show in this. Yeah. Double wrenches. This is what gets me hyped. Him hanging on the fucking door like that? Dude. Fuck yeah. Like, that's what got me into, like, care. I'm like, oh, I'm not saying sweet. And he was hanging on that door, and I'm like, oh, man. I really, really, really hope this gets a Switch release. Is that Tangled? Yeah, this is Tangled. Tangled was Fuck already yeah. announced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, also, I like that they showed... Oh, yeah, they got Ariel. Looks like Ariel's a summon. I don't think they're doing any old worlds, but I'm not sure. Oh, sick. I've said it like five times already, but man, oh man, do I hope that this gets a Nintendo motherfucking Switch. Kali, you should get this game. Oh, oh man. man. Fighting Zerg. <laughs> five person party. Oh, that's so good to me. The 
yo-yos, the smoky quartz yo-yo. Yeah, definitely. I don't know. I was thinking Monsters Academy. Why is Marlou so alive? At the end of Chain of Memories, this might not make any sense. The Heartless of uh, Ansem is like, I'll be back! And he's deep inside Riku. And then, I swear to God, you see Zemnus standing next to him in this. So they're almost the same person. So that's crazy. Kingdom Hearts. I don't fucking know what's happening. That's Much dope. as Ink. Excited cool. for that. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool, man. Uh... Uh, this combat looks sweet. This is... I'm excited. <laughs> out, out of breath thinking about it. I'm just like, I'm glad they... People were hoping for a date. But there wasn't a date at the end of that, right? I don't think, I don't think so. Nope. Uh, I'm excited there isn't one yet. I got like two and a half more games to play. Take your time, Square Enix. <laughs> Let it all hang out. Take that sweet, sweet, sweet time. This... I don't know, any other thoughts? I'm sorry, yeah. Do you, wait, do we get John Goodman <clears throat> as Sully? Yeah, that whole thing kind of gives me a boner. Um, John Goodman? Uh, I mean, the thought of John Goodman, you know, reprising his role as a voice actor and yeah, for a beloved Disney character in a video game, yeah. Mm -hmm. just, I'm just excited Comedy. that Tom Hanks' brother gets, gets, <laughs> gets some shine. What happens when Sully meets Pete? Trey Farts, and it smells like shit. All right. Jesus Christ. This dude. weekend, Trey Farts. But yeah, no, it looks you good. round two is Exciting. coming. Oh. Looks like a weird little thing for me. It looks like the magic spell known as Thunder, and or Thundara, or whatever upgraded thing. It looks as effective as it was in the first one. I used it heavily. It was like an area attack. Mm -hmm. uh, and I remember it just felt like less effective as I went on playing the games. That... Looks effective. Well, since we're since we're not gonna watch it, you should tell everyone about the end of the other of the music trailer. Oh yeah, so with. they came out of the the um I'm gonna slaughter a name right now, so I'm gonna say Hikaru. Uh, whoever did Sanctuary and Simple and Clean, the other the other Kingdom Hearts songs, uh, that they've remixed a million times and are great. Came out with a new one for this, and there's a specific trailer for it at the end of it. Riku, whose hair. Looks a little off. I can't tell you why. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Riku looks older. Is walking with King, or since they're friends now, it's just Mickey. Uh, which he didn't even say that to Donald and Goofy. Only Riku. He's like, you, you know, ooh, we're friends. Like, fuck. They call him Majesty. But Riku can call him Mickey. He puts the his keyblade in the ground of darkness, and he and he says, "Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Oh, I can't use this anymore." Uh, I guess I'll leave it here for my other self. Someone who had played Dream Drop Distance in some other games might be able to break that down for you more. But me and Mickey both have the same reaction, which is, huh? Huh? And it's just like, actually, I have less huh. I, I'm like, in my head, that could be three things I know about right now, and more than likely it's not any of those things and something else. Because uh, I've seen a copy of Riku. Uh, I, uh, see, I don't even want to throw my theories out there because... It's like, I've missed, you know, Dream Drop Distance probably does a lot for it. But Xehanort is standing there. Or not Xehanort. The Ansem's uh, Heartless is standing there. And the last piece of him was inside Riku. So maybe Riku cannot utilize the darkness anymore. That's why he can't use a Keyblade. But why would he be leaving it for Ansem? And I, he wouldn't call that his other self. I don't fucking care. Anyways. Oh, man. <laughs> this week in trailers. Oh, you want to talk about something cooler? You, you could say that that is all rumor and speculation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some might say that that mil, is... Mill, 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 mill. From the rumor mill. Go with 
the rumor mill. Mill, 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 mill. mill. Going to mill, the mill, rumor mill. Mill, 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 I got a lot of shit. You want to start with the small puppies or the big boy? Yay. Let's go with the hush puppies. All right. Mm. Super rumored. Uh, We didn't know who was working on Metroid Metroid fucking wow. Metroid Prime 4. We didn't know who was working on Metroid Prime 4. Uh, I guess people assumed it was retro. No, not (laughs) necessarily. People assumed it was retro. They made the other ones. It seemed like Nintendo was doing it internally. There's a rumor that it's Bandai Namco, which would be cool, and they've already worked together a lot on the Switch, just with, like, Pokin, and even, like, the Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS, like, that wasn't that long ago, I feel. Are you, is it, you got a smile on your face, Trey? This is good stuff. Bandai Namco making Metroid Prime 4. I've I, enjoyed Bandai Namco games over the years. All right. It'd be interesting to see, uh, I don't know, Metro's, like, some of the best. It'd be interesting to see it not done by Metro. Metro. Retro. It's just exciting. I know you, you'd probably, you're probably excited for Metroid Prime yeah. 4 in general. Even though they just gave us the logo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm digging that. I'm loving it. Um, I'm loving I'm really. that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. Uh, so I talk about sweary. Remember when I talked about how sweary stopped drinking? To make better dialogue and yes. scenario? Did I tell you? I think I did this too. A few weeks later, he's like, it's been 12 or 13 days since I stopped drinking. Tomorrow, I drink. Hashtag the king is back. Uh. <laughs> I love funny. when Japanese people write English sentences. It's, and like, it's, it's great. It's hilarious. Hashtag the king is back. So, he had, uh, they had tried to, The Good Life is the game we're talking about. He had tried to crowdfund it through Fig last year. It didn't work. Murder mystery, uh, like, daily life type game where... So everyone turns into a cat at night in this town. You know what I mean? He tried it on Fig last year. They got about one third of the 1.5 million they needed. They're gonna on March 26th try it again on Kickstarter. Uh, this time they're promising actual gameplay footage. They're promising uh, there's something really funny actually. Powerful new partnerships, <laughs> graphical updates, updates and like enhanced actual rewards for the uh, the people supporting it. Super interesting. We're definitely going to watch... The, I kind of want to watch the old trailer for The Good Life. But we can just watch the... Uh, ooh, we can just watch the the new one when it comes out. But either way, The Good Life coming back to Kickstarter March 26th. It's not that big of news. I just like... Deadly Premonition is sick. I love Sweary. I just want to like... If 100 people listen to this and one person loved Deadly Premonition, they're like, what? He's making fucking a like, game about cats. I want them to... Support that, please. Okay. Mill, 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 April of June of this year. You know what I'm talking about? No. For Pokemon Switch. Yeah. Generally, like the localization, like the translations, like that. That is like <coughs> super far in the process. Like that game would be done, about done. I, I think it's about done. It's supposed to release sometime this That's year. So cr- it's like I know, I know they said like this year, but oh man. Like getting it out in year two of the Switch is still really impressive to me, even though they told me they were going to do it. Well, that's the thing. Like, think of how long it took for them to make stuff like Breath of the Wild. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the uh, what's it called? The kit, the Switch kit? Yeah. The, oh, the dev kit? Yeah, the dev kit. Mm-hmm. That's been around for probably around, like, two, maybe three years now, like... Right, you, and you, they were probably playing in Pokemon. Mm. Well, that's the thing. You remember, um, so in the original Pokemon Sun and Moon um, trailer, they showed, like, stills and, like, pretty much, like, people, like, working on the game and working on the in-game stuff. Mm-hmm. Huh. Rumor is that, that all, all of 
that right there that they were doing wasn't for the 3DS version, but was, like, them working on the Switch. Interesting. Because originally people thought that Sun and Moon was going to be on the Switch, but then they're right. being on the 3DS again. But they've been, um, they've been fucking around with the Switch for, like, Game Freak has had their hands on the Switch for probably a good, like, two, two, two and a half years, like. That is really good perspective on it, Cartier. I like that, and leads me to this question. Because a lot of people are like, oh, it wasn't that long since Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, like, maybe it's going to be more, more of the same, uh, than everyone expected with everything that's come out on the Switch. Do you think that Pokemon is going to be the next mainline Pokemon game for Switch, the first one. Is it going to be as innovative to the Pokemon franchise as Breath of the Wild was to Zelda and Odyssey was to Mario? Yes, because you every so? every new generation of Pokemon brings something to the table, mm -hmm. and I think this one is going to bring that like true open world aspect to it. Mm -hmm. I think that um, they're going to set up a way that like theoretically you can do the gyms in any fucking order you want. Like, I think, I think that's what they're going to be doing with it. Because, really, the easiest way to implement it, uh, implement it is, is, like, you have your Pokemon there, and pretty much, based on, like, your team and your <laughs> level and how many badges you have, is based on, like, what team they're going to use. So you can do pretty you much ask. any Pokemon gym in any order. Mm -hmm. But I think that's what they're going to be bringing to the table, because, like, first gen... Just Pokemon, you know? Just basic Pokemon. Second gen brought in breeding. Third gen brought in double battles and the physical special split. Fourth fourth gen brought in like a more updated like sixty four sixty four bit graphic. They added tri in fourth gen they added um fuck what was it? Not a new type, but they added in pretty much <laughs> I forgot. I think I don't know. I got I got lost. I thought I thought you already. Told, it's the apple. It is the you, apple. Uh, <laughs> you, the apple. I, I wasn't gonna draw attention to it. I know. I think you already told me what. I think you just said yeah, pretty much. Pretty much jumps. every every generation brings something new to the table. Right. Is right. what I'm saying. Like X and Y brought it into 3D <laughs> and just all that shit. Trey's eating an apple right now. It's really really fucking distracting. But it's fine. It's only uh, you know I. <laughs> There was a I fucking had a feeling. But. There was a wordless. There was a wordless agreement me and Trey had. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I think that apple will be fine, <laughs> without saying no, those words. The, the apple, apple fine. <laughs> I just have. You just get really. <laughs> I just have shit concentration. <laughs> it's really healthy over here. <laughs> but no, I do. I do think that is going to be innovative to the Pokemon series. I'm, that's that's exciting. How uh, how they're gonna implement like a true open world? I have no clue how they're going to do that without, like, fucking shit up, but who knows? Yeah. They can do it. It could be real. It could it, be. I know it's their destiny. Would you like the final... Oh, no, I got one little more rumor besides the big one. Unless there's anything else we, you got to say about Pokemon. I could talk about Pokemon for we hours could. and just go on. We could, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sonic announcement is supposed to be coming from Sega and next month, South by Southwest. People have begun to theorize that it is Sonic All-Star Racing 3. Just throwing it out there. Sonic Kart game might be coming. Knock it off. It's true. We haven't had a substantial leak to talk about since Devil May Cry. I know what you're saying. At home. Like, Dan, you didn't talk about the fucking Kingdom Hearts leak. Like, you didn't talk about the Pokemon leak. I didn't. And I talked about Devil May Cry with, like... With, like, Glee. Maybe it's because I'm not attached to that series. But I also think that was probably the juiciest leak I've ever seen. And this one's pretty big, too. And it's not that spoilery. So let me just say, there's a place called Trusted Reviews. There's a place called Trusted Reviews, <laughs> which no one ever talks about as far as rumors and speculation. But apparently, this has been, like, talked about by everyone, and Trusted Reviews is the source of it. They received a memo back in, like, August. They didn't say anything about it because they thought it was bullshit. Uh, Rockstar starts dropping, like, some screenshots, right? Like, they're known to do for Red Dead. And, like, the characters line up with what they have. So, Trusted Reviews is like, oh, wow, I think this is all real. Because it was, like, a long time. It was August, mm. you know what I mean? 
uh, but it's like the main character model and just like very sp- like scenes and like those are the same people. This is the same game. Like how would right. you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, so if we can assume that that's correct and we assume everything else is right on here, let me tell you a little bit about Red Dead Redemption Two. Yeah, what yeah. don't what don't you want to know, Kyle? I don't want to spoil anything. Uh, there's no spo- there's no story stuff. No, you can just fucking spill it, man. It's just on, a lot of online. I'm stuff. gonna play it either way. I don't care. Last week we talked about whether or not there'd be an online mode. Whether or not they would invest in it as much as GTA V. Mm-hmm. Literally the next week we have an answer. This came out like the day after. Uh, so it's got three modes, but let's not talk about that. I, one thing I read in this was uh, it's the most ambitious and is looking to have far more depth than anything Rockstar's done online before. Oh. Which is a big, which is a big statement. And they want all these NPCs to actually have life cycles. They want people to go out during in the morning and set up amenities outside their shop, and then at night take those down. And like, wow, Wednesdays at four o'clock, that's when they go shopping for apples in the market. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If there's apples for sale, I'm sure there is. Uh, so stuff I'd like that. I'd motherfuckers if they were for sale. <laughs> They're trying to. That's <laughs> fucking so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, online's gonna have three actual game modes besides like the free roam. I've heard about one of them. I know which one it is. I'm going to say it last. Uh, <laughs> Revive and Survive, which is like Team Deathmatch. Money Grab, where it's like two teams going for different loot and shit. And then Red Dead. There's like, I think, GTA. Bye, bye. We'll hop on the bandwagon of having a Battle Royale mode. The dual mode? Uh, fucking Battle Royale and everything. Battle Royale and Red Dead Redemption. How does that make you feel, Kyle? Uh, is everybody for themselves? Mm-hmm. Different, okay. Probably different, well, we don't, nothing super confirmed, but, and it might not even be a hundred people, but, especially with Red Dead looking the way it, the way it does, it might not be a hundred people. Dude, yeah, I'm so down for that, that's so fun. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's one of the bigger things from this, I will say. And you know, I'm just guessing that, you know, judging by the smoothness and the escalation from all the GTAs. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing this game's gonna be pretty smooth. Yeah. Oh yeah. Think about GTA Five is smooth compared Four to, to like. Four to five. Oh, oh my God. dude. I feel like even uh, Battle to Gay Tony. I don't know yeah. how similar it is. I remember it feeling better, but actually that was me going back to four after a while. I remember trying to go back to four after playing Saints Row Three, and it was silly stiff. I don't. It just did, that arcade shit just got me. Remember the last time I played Vice City? <laughs> oh man. Because <laughs> like. Going back to 3 is hard, too. I love 3. And Vice City's, like, cleaner, smoother than 3. 3 is rough. Uh, but, yeah, all those games. I don't know. I played San Andreas not that long ago. San Andreas plays nice. Oh, yeah, San Andreas is just a great game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. So, it looks like they're still gambling. Uh, you. Oh, yeah, these NPCs are actual people. They're trying to, like, actually make it, like, someone in the town. Like, it was, you'll, they'll be a gunsmith. They'll be an undertaker. It's going to be wild. Yeah, uh, it's crazy. That sounds crazy. It's cool there's a day and night cycle for this online mode for Red Dead. Uh, it's like what they did for um, Majora's Mask, kind of, except for they only had like a three-day cycle to work with, so like, yeah. during those three days, I want everyone to be doing something like different. Specific, yeah. yeah. Fuck. Um, mm-hmm. <coughs> Bunch of obvious stuff. Dead Eyes still in it. Uh, oh, yeah, no, Strangers and, Strangers and Freaks from GTA V, they're going to have a version of that for Red Dead, like, something like that. that that's pretty cool. I enjoy that kind yeah. of thing. I feel like they might have already had stuff like that in the first Red Dead, to be honest with you, but not as specific, not as much. Uh, like, apartments for GTA Online, you're going to have tents you can upgrade and shit. Oh, man. Bunch of good stuff. I think Battle Royale is probably the most exciting thing. A lot yeah. of stuff you would think was on here. Looks like there's a really deep fishing system. <laughs> it's like much different baits and tackles. Wow. Uh, but yeah, no, good times. Red Dead. Red Dead is a thing that's coming. Um, there's other stuff on there. I feel like a lot of stuff in the memo. I'm like, oh man. Of course, that's like the next step of being in there. You know what I mean? Or that was you know kind of already implemented. All right. I got a question for you guys, though. Yeah, so... Yeah. And the question involves uh, more than just us as people. Us as something else? It's us as... No deal. Us as, uh, us as uh, ideas. I mean, us as... Will everyone please grab 
their whiteboard for oh, this week. Yeah. Closer. <gasps> starting, a little, starting a little early because this thing. That's is mine. This week's closer is for the right to be able to close out this podcast in whatever way you want. Uh, one of these guys is going to get the ability to rant or talk about controversial mm-hmm. things, whatever they want to talk about, uncontroversial things. Talk about Pokemon more card here. We can do it. I remembered what fourth gen brought, so. Mm-hmm. Would you like to tell me right now? I would like to tell you right now. Please. They brought the, um, they made moves both physical and special, so like instead of water type just being a special move. They now divide it in between physical, so like Aqua Jet would be a physical, whereas Water Gun and Bubble Beam are special. Cartier. If I haven't said this before, you're the meaning in my life. You're You're the the inspiration. inspiration. You bring meaning to my life. This week's game, outdated critiques. I went to IGN. I went to the oldest reviews possible. Spoilers, 1996, except for a few mislabeled ones. IGN, you're huge, get on your shit. Your Hitman Episodes 5 are mislabeled date-wise, but I'm just saying. <laughs> People love Hitman, they're not going to find that review. Uh, you can literally search the name like a normal person. On that whiteboard, you are going to mark a number. IGN scores on a 10-point system, and it goes oh. to the 10th place, so it, you, pretty much... I'll tell you, there's nothing below 1. It's 1.1, 1. 1, 1. 1.2, 1. 1.3... 8.6, 8.7, all that shit. 9.9. 7, 7.8, 7. too much water. The 10th place, and such. I'm going to say a name, I'll give you the date when it came out, what it came out for, and you're going to write what IGN gave it on that whiteboard. Whoever got closest will get a point. It's a simple game. It's going to be a fun game. You guys yes, I am so down. Skibidi bop 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 bidop. Yay. Hard motherfucker. Calm down. Don't test me, dog. And they right down ten. All right. The first game. Your whiteboards, gentlemen. Feel free to hide it, Kyle, because you know Trey is notoriously a cheater. You fucker. Notorious. Yeah. Step on my zone, bitch. All right. For, came uh, reviewed on September twenty fifth, nineteen ninety six, for the N sixty four, Super Mario sixty four. What did IGN? Give Super Mario. Are you tripping already? 64. Is that a Wait, 10 or out of 5? Yeah. What up? Out of 10? Out of 10. Yeah. Tell me when you're ready. 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 Let me see. Cartier said 9.8 out of 10. Kyle said 7 out of 10. Trey said 10 out of 10. Hard motherfucker said 10 out of 10. It was... 9.8 exactly, Cartier. Wow. Damn, man. You cheated. You cheated. I just know how IGN works. You cheated. Oh, wow. That's a, still a ballsy guess. 9.8. I mean, it could have been anything around there. See this That's a good guess. I mean, you cheated. It could have been 9.9. 9.7. It wasn't. Uh, reviewed November 14th, 1996. Cruising USA for N64. Cruising USA. Yeah. Uh. Ready. Ready. Wait, waiting on the Melville. Yeah. You bring me to my life. <laughs> Flip them. <laughs> He's a flip. So Kyle, you're not in it. 6.4. Oh. Cartier says 6.4. Oh. Looks like Kyle says oh. 6. Trey says 6.4. Uh, that is a point for Kyle. They gave it a four. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you guys get the same fucking number? That was weird. <laughs> there's a lot of numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's about to get weird. In they this. both played Cruising USA. Somebody in here is cheating, dog. <laughs> <laughs> they both have the same opinion, but no. November 21st, 1996. Bust a Move 2 Arcade Edition for PlayStation. It's actually not a dancing game. It's a bursting bubble. What kind of game is it? It's like you're bursting bubbles. I think it's like a puzzle game. You're busting bubbles. You're not busting really. It might be the music though. Out of ten. Ready. Show me Set. when you're ready, Kyle. Trey said seven point three. Kyle said seven point two. Cartier said five point six. It was eight. 
That is a point for Trey. Trey. Yeah, boy. I, yeah, love, I, I knew it. I was going to put 7.4, dude. I love this game, by the way. <laughs> Question number four. Also coming, uh, reviewed on November 21st, 1996 by IGN. Crash Bandicoot for PlayStation. Crash Bandicoot? Crash Bandicoot. Ready. Set. Yo. Number two. Hey, you on? Tal said 8.2. Cartier said 8.5. Trey said 8.6. Wow. Uh, wait, let me see it again. Sorry. And that is a point for Kyle. It was yes. 7.5 for Crash Bandicoot. Son of a bitch. Okay. Ah, uh, get your shit together, man. November 25th, 1996, <laughs> for PlayStation. Resident Evil. The first one? Yep. Simply known. Resident Evil. The evil one. Oh, man. Ready. Ready? Ready. <clears throat> Kyle takes his time. Uh, this is a sign of champions. Thoughts going through his head. Ready? Let me see him. Nine out of ten. Cartier, I love your little guy. You need to tweet that later. <laughs> I love that little guy. Home like, Nine out of ten for Cartier. 6.6 6 for Kyle Melville. 9.2. You a nine or 9.2? Nine. Okay, I was like, you guys getting this the same all the time? It was an 8.7. Yeah. Point to Nicholas Cartier. Yay. It is a close game. It is ferocious on the streets. Um, also reviewed November 25th, 1996. King of Fighters 1995. Which I will tell you is an arcade port to PlayStation. It was not made for PlayStation. Uh. King of Fighters 95. Ready? I'm also ready. Oh, man. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> King of Fighters. Uh, Alright. Let's see him. Kyle says 7.2. Kurt says 6 out of 10. Hard Motherfucker says 7.5. It was a 5 even. Fuck you. Point card here. Yay. I, dude, I went low and then I fucking erased it. That's why I said fuck. Ugh. A game I missed when I was a kid, but it was right up my alley and I didn't get to try it until the Switch. Uh, Rayman for PlayStation. Rayman. Also reviewed November 25th. That was a big <laughs> game. I know, I just never played any of the Raymans until yeah. Legends. Ready? Ready? All right, fuckers. <laughs> oh, are you trying to, like, gauge my reaction? Like, it was a big game. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't it, Dan? Eight out of ten, says Kyle. Eight out of ten, says Hard Motherfucker. 8.8, .8, says Nicholas Cartier. Oh, fuck you, Cartier. Rayman got a seven. That is both a point for... Yeah, both a point for Kyle and Trey. Don't categorize me with him. I'm sorry, it's just how it works. Right. A game Shit Kyle loves or loved at one point in his life. November 25th, 1996, also. Twisted Metal. Oh, yeah. PlayStation. Ready. Set. <coughs> Kyle says 9. No, Trey no. says 8.7. Oh, no, no. Cartier says 8.8. .8. It goes to Trey. They gave it a 7 as well. 7 out of 10. Man. Reviewed February 20th, 1997. We're 90, 97 now. Mario Kart 64 for N64. Do, do, do. Ready? Ready. Ready. Cap. Okay, you ready? He's not looking drawn right now. Kyle says 8.7. Cartier says 9. Trey says 9.5. It was 
8.1. Kyle gets the point. This was a one. A little surprising, right? 8.1 for Mario Kart from IGN. You kind of thought it was going to be higher. Yeah. Yeah. Reviewed August 25th, 1997, also for the N64, GoldenEye 007. Ready? Ready? Yeah! Let's see him. Kyle says 8.8. .8. Heart Motherfucker says 8.2. Cartier says 7.5. Wait, let me see. Don't erase it yet. I'm sorry. That is a point for Kyle Melville. They gave, yeah. they gave it a 9.7. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking to make it back-to-back -back closings. No. Don't worry. There's a lot of points left. Number 11. Uh, reviewed August 29th, 1997. Did you fart? No. You smell like coleslaw, you nasty bitch. For PlayStation. Fart, Kyle. Yeah, you mind your own fucking business. <laughs> I can't mind my business when your business smells in my face. Yeah, smelly Heiner. <laughs> yeah? Sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why we're bringing let's it play to your attention. Let's, let's play the game. Let's play the game. <laughs> 1997 for PlayStation. All the women listening. Sure, it smells like asshole. A game. <laughs> yeah. A game simply called Fantastic Four. Kyle said, what is that? You uh, gotta like, be a little specific with that B. It's a B. Okay. He gave it a B. Is that a six? Yeah. Okay. Six. Uh, Cartier says three. Trey said one. They gave it a one. Shit. Wow. Oh. Nacho. Nacho. Yeah. Nacho. September 3rd, 1997 review from IGN. For PlayStation... Final Fantasy 7. Mm, mm, mm. Art thou ready? Oh, I'm ready. Yes, I do. You're not ready, Kyle. Yeah, man. Kyle says 7. That was a rough one. <laughs> My brain couldn't <laughs> absorb that for a second. Cuss says 7. Harmo Fucker says 9.9. Cartier says 8.9. Dan does a little bit of math real quick. And that point goes to Trey. It is 9.5. Nice. This is a lot to erase. I'm going to laugh when your marker runs out. <sighs> Reviewed September 17th, 1997. The first ever... Video game for Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering Battle Mage. <gasps> uh. Ready. Ready. Oh, I wonder who's not. Fuck. What is that? Nine? Yeah. You're killing me. <laughs> Uh, nine from, uh, from Kyle. 1.2 from Cartier. 6.4 from Hard Motherfucker. Um, more math. Oh, no. I almost did my math wrong. I was like, oh, I, I know what the fuck it is. I'm just I kidding. Was this was mine. I don't know what that means. Uh, it was a four, so I believe that goes to Trey. It was 2.4 off. This was mine? You were 2.8 off, right? That mm -hmm. was mine. Point four. I Trey. won. You did not win that one, Kyle. October 2nd, 1997. And the Antonio one. Four assorted things, I think. I got PlayStation down there. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Ready. Ready, Freddy. 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 Did you write it down? Cartier, what are you doing? Kyle? No. Huh? You showing it and raising it? Yeah. Is that not your answer? 
what <laughs> of you. Seven out of ten says Cartier. Four out of ten says Kyle. Nine point five says Trey Grunstadt. Uh, I gave Castlevania Symphony of the Night a nine out of ten. Dude, it's another point for the Trey. Uh, Final two questions. Uh, uh, uh. And it's it's hard, motherfucker. By the way, sorry, hard motherfucker. Uh, nineteen ninety eight, March twenty seventh for PlayStation. IGN reviewed Diablo. How did that go over? Mm. How'd that go? I'm ready. <coughs> Cartier says he's ready. Kyle draws things. Ready. All right, let's see. I think Kyle, tell us what you had there. Uh, it's a, a nine. Okay. Nine even? Yeah. I almost thought you went 9.2. Nine even. It was 9.2, and then... I, I don't know what it turned into. It was a two. But now Kyle it's said like nine. Cartier nine. said ten. Trey said eight. Diablo got a seven point five. That is another point for Trey. It is impossible to reach Trey at this point, but we're gonna do one more just no, for it's fun. No, not. I'm gonna <laughs> win. <laughs> Reviewed on March thirtieth, nineteen ninety eight, for the N sixty four Rampage World Tour. Get the fuck. <laughs> Damn, so you know what my answer is. <laughs> ready when you're ready? Write down, Kyle. You got anything down? Or keep that answer. I just farted. Alright, Cartier, let me see. Trey said 8.8. Kyle said 8. This is 8.5. It's 8.5. 8.5, sorry. Cartier said 6. Uh, the moral victory goes to Nicholas Cartier. Because Rampage World Tour got a 4.9. What? Uh, <laughs> but that doesn't matter, Cartier. What that's really a, matters is... a great game. What a great game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Trey Grunstadt, you have won today's loser. Ass dick. <laughs> That means you will get to close out this podcast <laughs> in whatever way you want. But before we do that, let me just say thank you for listening. If you are still listening, sorry about the whiteboards. I love you guys. We are Litmit Media. You can find all of our episodes, where, however you listen to podcasts. You can you, you know how to find it. You know how to navigate it. Litmit Media. Uh, any submissions, questions, fan games, fan art of Cartier with leading... He's got sn- snow dogs leading a sled. Cartier in the Iditarod. If you have any fan art of that, I'll take it. Um, or of any of us in the Iditarod. Really, is interesting. Uh, uh, did you fart on Don't me? support fart culture. Fuck, bitch. Lit m- media. Oh, uh, is actually against biological warfare. Oh, my God, dude. Uh, All right, yeah, no sell it for one second, Kyle. No sell the fart so I can get through this. Litmitmedia uh, at gmail.com. On Twitter, at Litmit Media. You can Jesus find us Christ at litmitmedia.fireside.fm. That's L-I-T-M-I-T-M-E-D-I-A. Uh, if, you, if you fuck with the iTunes, go rate us five stars. It helps us out them. Other people will listen to us. We don't ask for money, but I'll ask for that sweet five stars at the end of a podcast after I've been listening to Trey Fart in this room. 58 minutes. You're close to this week. Sup, MTV Cribs! It's your boy, Trey, and I don't support Kyle Melville. I fucking don't. I fucking don't. This is how I end the fucking quarters. I fucking get Kyle back for being Kyle. Nasty, you fucker. Oh, God, it smells so bad. It was nice hanging out with everybody this week. My eyes See you are next burning. Time. My eyes are burning. Yeah, uh, I, w- I want it to end on Kyle's eyes are burning. Yeah, that's a good end. Yeah.